You see this guy over here, Astera. Astera is very sensitive with IP. This is why for people who just got new into ads loading or simulation, where they will use bots to drive traffic or puppeteer to drive traffic to their websites, they notice that if they drive traffic to ad to AdSense, they could get paid or they could ban them. But if they drive to Astera, it will not, the site will not even open, talk less of, okay, they're paying you or they're not paying you. Like, if you try to drive traffic to Astera, Astera will just show you an error. So this video is going to be teaching you why you keep getting that error and how to bypass that error. So, so look at this website over here. It's called ipscore.io. Now, take a pen, take a book, and write this down, ipscore.io. There are two kinds of connections you will see here. You will either see the one that is green or the one that is red. If your IP is showing green, it means it can load Astera. It means it is safe. It means it's a legit IP. If it's showing red, it means something is wrong. So for instance, you can see the, my my IP is showing green, wireless. I have like two links over here. This is a direct link at Astera and this is a website. I'm going to copy this direct link at Astera and I'm going to paste it here. Now you notice that if I paste it, it will redirect me to a website. This is because this is how Astera direct link works. So let me use another of my Chrome over here and let me paste the link. Okay, it has taken me to one expert. So basically, this is what we call an Astera direct link site. Now each time you paste this link, or each time you share this link on social media, if anybody clicks on this link, it will redirect them to a website. As people keep clicking on the link, which is this link, you earn money. And we also have the one like a full blog. So I'm going to copy this blog right now and I'll paste it over here. Now this blog is going to open. If you look at the top, you can see a one xbet advertisement over here. If I refresh the page, you should also be able to see it over here again. Okay, this is another one. If I open incognito mode and I paste the websites, you also be able to see another kind of advertisement. Like it's, it will always be giving you different ads. Now I am seeing all these advertisements only because my IP address is good. If I decide right now to use an IP address that is not green, it will not show me the advertisement. Let me show you an example. So currently right here, I have NordVPN. So NordVPN is the, proxy, is the VPN I use rather. This is it over here, NordVPN. Now on my NordVPN, I'm going to choose United States and I'm going to refresh the page. Now you're going to see something. It has shown red. So this simply means that I've been detected of using like, you know, a, an IP address that is not that legitimate. So what is basically happening is that Astera has partnered with certain companies that check if an IP address is legit or not. So just to show you an example, you can see that my IP is on United States before it was showing you Starlink Nigeria. If I open up this direct link again, which is this direct link over here, and I paste it over here, you're going to see something. It's showing you anonymous proxy detected. Let me refresh the page. Anonymous proxy detected. Now, if I open incognito mode, remember I'm using a VPN, so it's the same IP, and I paste again, you're going to see anonymous proxy detected. Now, Astera is able to detect that I'm using a proxy because the proxy is actually leaking. It's like a proxy coming in from a bad ISP. What do I mean by bad ISP? Now, in case you don't really know, just like a domain authority, we have lots of internet providers. ISP means internet providers. Now, if your ISP, which is the IP address you're using, the person that gave you that IP address, if the person is somebody that has kind of a bad reputation, most of what you do would be flagged down. I want to also change this IP again to UK. So I'm going to click on UK. So within a few minutes, it's taking me now to London. So if I refresh this page again, you're also going to see that it will see show me VPN. So it's able to know that I'm using a VPN. You can see that the location has changed. But you also notice that NordVPN has partnered with this company called Packet Hub SA. So this company right now is already being known as a, you know, VPN company. You can see right now the fraud score is 84. So this is why when you try to visit a website that doesn't let people who are not originally from that country and you use something like NordVPN, most times they will detect you. Now, if I head back again, let me copy that direct link. I'm currently using UK now. So I'm going to copy the direct link and I'm going to post it or paste it rather. You're still seeing anonymous process detected. Now I forgot. Let me show you this one too. If I copy this link over here and I paste it, you're going to see that the website will open. 
that is why you get page views you get impressions but you don't get ads revenue you notice the advertisement is not showing the advertisement this one is not the ad though this one is, is the owner of the company you can see where he says sign up chinta he owns this particular banner this is not an advertisement the real Astera advert used to stay on top of here but you cannot see it anymore it's because Astera doesn't show that advertisement because the ip is bad so let me show you again from the beginning i'm going to switch off this vpn right now i'm going to click on disconnect copy the same link i just opened now and open it again you're going to see that unlike before you see advertisements now you can see an advertisement so it's basically your ip address now the second question is if acera is so particular about ip how do i load them the answer is to use a residential proxy see there are different kind of proxy savers we have the data center we have the residential so because of this tutorial i came prepared and i'm going to be showing you one of my um proxy accounts so I currently use Oxilab, they're one of the best, and I'm going to describe how they're one of the best. On Oxilab right here, I've bought two prozies. You can see the first one over here called a dedicated prozy, which is a dedicated data center. I currently have um, three IPs available. I have one from the US and I have two from the UK. So I use a software called Foxy Prozy. So this software is currently over here. If I click on it, you're going to see that it's showing me kind of some options. So on this pro on this end software, I can add Prozy to my Chrome. So I have a sticky USA, I have a rotating USA, and I have a USA dedicated center. So let us start with the de dedicated center. I've off my VPN. My VPN is not on. I don't have any. I don't have um, any connection on my VPN. My VPN is not connected. And if you also look here, it is currently on disabled. Disabled means I've not activated it. So if I refresh the page, it's showing you green. That is because it's using my star link. Now I'm going to switch over to dedicated prosy. So I'll click on US dedicated. You can see it's dedicated over here. Now it has updated to dedicated. I'm going to now refresh the page. You're going to see something. Now I've refreshed the page. I'm using a dedicated proxy. It's still showing me VPN. It is because when you buy a dedicated proxy, you usually buy it unlimited. That means they'll give you a server and this server will have unlimited data. You don't want to use a dedicated proxy to load at Stera. You don't need to. You don't, you don't avoid dedicated proxy. Let me show you an example. So I'm going to copy um, this direct link again. Let's start from the direct link. I'm going to copy the direct link. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here again. You're still going to see something to show you anonymous proxy detected. It means that even if I'm using a proxy saver, like a, a dedicated proxy saver from Oxilab, you can see it's over here. This is the proxy saver I'm currently using. You can see the IP address 214748764. If I take you back over here, two, sorry, let me confirm 216748764. Okay, good. Let me refresh again. You can also confirm it here. 216 let it come again let it load 216-7487164 so i'm currently using a dedicated ip address and i got this dedicated ip address by buying a dedicated proxy i bought like three ip three three of them one from the us and two from the uk you can see them over here so this particular one i'm currently using from the us you can see that it is showing me that is a vpn because it is unlimited i can keep using it continuously there is no data no data charged. I only pay for one month. If I pay for one month, I can use it as much as I want. I don't get to pay any other money for that one month. Now, but because of this, they give me proxy or IP addresses from very, very questionable ISP. So this is why I'm having like a VPN problem. And this is why when I open a seller direct link, it keeps telling me anonymous proxy detected. If I also copy this direct website over here, copy it over here and I paste it here, you're also going to see that it would also open the website, but you will not see ads. So if you look at the top right here, I can have page views, I can have impressions, but I will never earn money from this, um, you know, blog. Why? Because currently right now I'm using a proxy and the proxy has been detected because the ISP is bad. Okay. Now the second proxy I got again is residential proxy. I want to show you the difference between dedicated and residential. So I'm going to head over to residential proxy. And I already have my residential proxy created. My traffic is 287 MB. I actually paid for one gig just to show you this. I've used 28%. So it gives me unlimited IP, like as many IP as possible. Like it gives me 
thousands of IP addresses, as much as it has, right? If I go to where they sample their IP, you see that they have over 30,000 IPs. This means 30,000 legitimate IP you can use to simulate 200,000 page views and impressions, making over $1,000 or more in a day if that's what you want to do and you have lots of VPS. So they give you lots of them, but you pay per gig. So for this um, one gig, I think I paid about $8 or there about for one gig, just to show you how this really works. A prosina is going to be good. Now you see it, it's showing you business. Business, but it's legit. You can see it's green, it's green. So let me close all this tab. Let me close both of this one and let's start from beginning again, the rest of them. Okay, so this is the direct link at Stera. You can see right now, it's not showing you anonymous prosy away those things that the adult content right the thing is that you've seen it so i'm going to copy this one over here which is the website and i'm going to paste it now since it's a website i will only see advertisement at the top so i'm not scared okay now this is the website look at the top now you see ads it's coming Okay, the ads have even started opening ESF. So I'm going to exit. You can see an advertisement. So this is showing you right now that the IP address is actually what makes you make money from Adstera. So if you're using a bad prosy, it's not the fault of OKEG, but you should just go get a better prosy, right? Because if your prosy is good, you will not have any problem, right? So now I've showed you this one called um, Sticky Prosy, which is sticky. You can see that it's showing you green. The ISP, a legitimate ISP. Now, let me show you rotating. The difference between sticky and rotating is that sticky gives you one IP for a long time before it changes, while rotating kind of changes. So, I'm going to choose over here again, and I'll choose rotating, which is this one over here. Now, check out. Rotating keeps on changing the IP address. For instance, my current IP is 4.8.117.146. Let me refresh again. As long as I'm using rotating, each time I refresh the page, I get a new IP. But that is not the nice thing. You see as it's rotating, one moment is at business, the next moment is residential. Let's refresh again. It was residential now, let's check again. Business, you can see, let's check again. business if i check again it can even be wireless it can be residential it can be business but it will always be green so because it's always green if i head over to any website that has adstera like this direct link for instance if i open this direct link right now you'll be able to see that it will show me a legitimate website like an advertisement to redirect me to an advertisement so it's only redirecting me to an advertisement because ah this is adult content it's only redirecting me to an advertisement because it is currently a legitimate IP. Now, the only reason I'm seeing adult content is because the IP is now showing USA. So it seems like people who do adult content, they they spend more money to advertise their adult website. So if I go to this website over here, which is the blog, and I copy this blog, and I paste this blog over here, you'll be able to see that, unlike before, it will show me an advertisement. So the thing is, if you're using Adstera, you want to keep using a residential IP address. Whether you're using a residential sticky or residential rotating, as long as it's a residential IP address and as long as it shows you green, as long as it's showing you green over at the top, you see this place is showing you green. As long as it's showing you green, the IP address is green. If you drive traffic to your Adstera website, you will make money from it. The only time you, you see it's showing wireless now, this is wireless. If I turn off, you can see the, the location is the US. You can see USA. You can see United States is showing wireless. Now, if I turn this off, I've disabled the other ones. If I turn this off and I refresh the page, another thing that shows me wireless is my legitimate Starlink. So if you use a good prosy, a good prosy will make it look like you're coming in from that location. It will always look legit. But the moment I switch over to dedicated prosy saver, this is dedicated prosy saver. The moment I switch to the dedicated processor and I refresh, it's going to show you red. Red means that something is wrong with this IP address. Now, if I go back to load this Adstera, it will never let me load it because why? Because the IP is a bad IP. Like it has already understood that something is wrong about this IP. However, if I come here now and change this same dedicated to rotating, right? And I still come back here and refresh the page. All of a sudden, you see it work. If I also switch it off totally, it will take me to adult content because I'm going to be showing coming from the US. I don't want you to see adult content over here, so they don't they don't report me. You can see it's an adult website telling you you want to do all those kind of nonsense, nonsense things. Okay, beautiful.